from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head oh I will see of the goodness of God cause all my life you have been playing false and all my life you have been so so good with every breath that I am able to oh I will see of the goodness good morning everyone our God is a good God. To Him be all the glory. To Him be all the adoration. Amen. Father, Lord, we bless you this morning. Amen. We exalt you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you for that which you have done for us. Your name be glorified. In Jesus' precious name, we have given Him thanks. Praise the Lord. Well, what a good day. What a good time. I want each and every one of us to be excited about what the Lord is doing. You may not see it now, but God is doing something in your favor and in my favor. Very shortly, what the Lord is doing will be made visible in your life. Amen. So never you cease from giving thanks unto the Almighty God. Amen. He's a faithful God. Amen. He's a great God. Amen. God bless you. I also want to take this opportunity to appreciate all our people who are participating on this program. Amen. Thank you for being there for us. Those of you lead prayers, who coordinate along with me. God of heaven will reward each and every one of you. Amen. And I pray that the grace of God will keep on multiplying on your life Amen. in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Not get for successful living. We're still on it today. And we are talking about the place of timing. And several things were unfolded to us in the course of last week about timing. And I believe today, God will yet speak to us. And we will be lighting, we will be happy. God's word bring joy. He said the entrance of his word giveth light. Wherever there is light, there is joy. Your joy shall be full. God will divinely intervene for you. Amen. God will come true for you this year. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This year, indeed, divine identity shall be your portion. Amen. Everything that is lesser than what heaven represents will vanquish out of your life. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are still on the subject of time, like I mentioned. And Ecclesiastes has this to say, that there is time for everything under the sun. In chapter 3 of Ecclesiastes, he said, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. I want us to take this serious because I have seen and I have noticed in many lives timing has been misappropriated verse 2 says a time to be born a time to die a time to plant a time to pluck that which is planted can you see that a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, a time to build up. <laughs> when you look at it, 
you will understand it's a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stone, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away. Look at it one more time. A time to rain, a time to show, to, to show. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to lose, to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Success is not exceptional. There's a time to prepare for your success and then there's a time to show your success. There's a time to look like you are failing to someone and there is a time that you will actually win their applaud because you are succeeding. So everything in life is time tag. And like I said, success is not exclusive. That means success is inclusive. Now, when you look at life, you find out that people talk something to be successful when it's glittering. But when you are working out success, people tend to despise you. And that has led many to misappropriate their time. That has led to so many fake life, falsehood. That has led many to lie to themselves, not even to people. Because we want to show that we are succeeding all the time. I read two scriptures the other day. We at least we actually look at that towards the end of the last broadcast. We look at uh, Luke chapter 1 and verse 8. He said, And the child grew and walked strong in spirit, and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. You see that? There was a time he was a child. There was a time he was waxing strong in the spirit. And there was a time in desert till, till the day of his showing, of his showing unto the children of Israel. So now you discover there were process and there were stages. I want you to know your life also has process and stages everything you are doing had at uh, a stages it has stages of manifestation even plant the bible talk about the blade then the leaf it said that when you sow you see well, this part will germinate this will appear first the blade then the full fruit or the full corn i want you to begin to appropriate the mystery of timing to whatever you are doing. Life is not a competition as it were. Life is to complement, it's for complementation. You have your time, I have my time. When it is your time, I take my breath. When it is my time, you take your breath. It talks about that in Mark chapter 4 and verse number 28. It says, For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself. First the blade, then the air, and then the full corn in the air. You see that? I want you to understand this so that you stabilize your health. You stop living in anxiety. You stop calling yourself the name God has not called you. Jesus keep on saying, like I kept on repeating, my time has not come. If Jesus understood the mystery of time, of timing, and he appropriated accordingly, and he became the most successful leaders 
we've ever seen. Why not you embrace that principle from now onward? Don't put your life on high tension 24-7 in your quest for success. You may damage your organs. You may cause confusion in your, metabol in your body metabolism. Take one day at a time. Take one day at a time. Appreciate God for every stage. Don't mirror, don't use other life, people's life to mirror your life. Don't. Don't. I love this scripture. I say, Lo, I come in the volume of a book written of me. There is you, and there is a and there are stages of your life. Maximize every stage with understanding of the mystery of timing. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Now, you know, the popular scripture we quote over and over, I saw something new yesterday. You know, the Bible says word is new every day. I want you to look at Isaiah chapter 60. Then you will understand. Isaiah chapter 60, and I read from verse 1 to 2. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 to 2. This book uh, is one of the book that people use to, to a chapter that people use to uh, propel their success. But there is something outstanding about that same chapter of the book. In Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1, it says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. He said, But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And he even says, You'll be so successful to the point that, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light. And king to the brightness of your light. Look at it. You will first of all have light. And you will, that light will make you visible to the point that a class of people will come. The Gentile, general, the publics, the society. Then he went further. He said, and this light will be brighter and then it will attract, attract kings. You may not start attracting kings from the one. You may not start attracting king from the one, but you will indeed have light. And that light will be for public. But after a while, the light will be brighter and it will attract other class of people. He said, The king, you know, who stand or who you stand before matters a lot. He said, Said thou a man that is diligent in his business. He said, This man shall not stand before me, men but he shall stand before king. <clears throat> these are very, uh, 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 these are, this, this very verse of scripture, open my eyes that, look, success is like it's in succession. It's, it's, it's like it's in degree, one level of degree to another. It is not an overnight thing. And I need to speak this over and over, over and over, over and over in, in, in the midst of believer. We need to keep on emphasizing this. Now, when you look at it uh, and see the last verse of that scripture, verse, 20, uh, verse 22, that, that chapter is full of prophetic of what will happen. It's a prophetic word for every Christian. But look at what he says in from verse 21. He said, Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. And the branch of planting, uh, the branch of my planting, the work of my hand, that I may be glorified. That I may be glorified. Remember, he said, Arise and shine. For thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is seen upon you. But look at verse 22. He said, A little one shall become, nor shall emerge. 
a little one shall become. When you hear something talks about the word become, it means process of time is required. It's not an overnight. He said, a little one shall become a thousand. And a small one, a strong nation. Look at this word. It, it, it turned me around yesterday. He said, a, a, a nation. I, the Lord, we hasten need in his time. I, the Lord, we hasten it in his eat time. If you want to open it up. Now, when you see the same, uh, the same verse of scripture, and that's why it's always good as a Christian, we take our time to look at several translations so that we can see from different angles what a particular scripture is saying. Now, when you look at it uh, uh, in Message Bible, it says, let me start reading from early part of it. It said, they are the green shoots that I planted, planted with my own hand to display my glory. It said, the round will become a great tribe. The round will become a great tribe. The weakling become a strong nation. I am God. At the right time, I will make it happen. At the right time, I will make it happen. The round will become a great tribe. The weakling become a strong nation. The one you people, people the one you people call weakling today, God said you will become a strong nation you will become don't forget i talk about the word becoming you saw it in john chapter one how god used it to say as many that have received it he gave them power to become the son of god when you compare it with what peter said he said as a newborn baby desire the sincere milk of the world that you might grow thereby if you don't embrace the mystery of timing you will not appreciate the process of growth and we need to, we need to, that's why there are people doing steadily, they are doing well steadily in their business. But all of a sudden, they jump, they despise the days of their little beginning and do stupid things. And eventually, they lost their position. The, the business will just vanquish because they do not understand the mystery of time. There are people doing well in ministry, but they don't understand the mystery of timing. There is time to everything. Don't live your life in anxiety. Don't live your life in a stupid competition. Be patient. Take your time. Take your time. I love it. He said, the, the round will become a great tribe. The weakling become a strong nation. I am God. At the right time, I will make it happen. When we embrace the place of, of or the mystery of timing as far as success is concerned, we hand it over, we hand over our success to God's ability. In other words, we hand over our success for God to bring it forth. I am not teaching of, I'm not talking about being indolent, I'm not talking about being sluggish, but I want you to know that whatever effort you are putting in place, know that your effort alone it's not what's going to culminate in success. There is the role of God. And anything God is involved, time is allotted for it. Time is allotted for it. I watch chicken. Like I keep on saying. I watch chicken. I see broiler. I see the local rural chicken. 
the hand around our neighborhood. One grew very fast, and the other one took his time. When challenges of life, maybe there's an outbreak of disease, you discover they respond differently. They look alike, but when it comes to outbreak of disease, they respond differently. Why do they respond differently? Because of the time invested. The time invested in raising a brawler, one at, uh, at, after six weeks is 1.4, 1. 1. 1, if I can be with 2. Point something. But after six weeks, for, for the local chicken, it's still very small. You see, timing is of timing is very important in your success. I made a practice short few days ago. If it does not take you time to attain it, it may not also take time for you to lose it. Let's embrace timing. It is time that give God, that give you the single privilege of God to be behind your success. It is timing. When you embrace timing, then you are likely to secure the input of God in your success. And you know what that means? He said, whatever the Lord doeth shall abide forever. I pray for you this hour that you will have this understanding, that you flow along the plan of God for your life, along the plan of God for your life, that you will accept the way God laid his plan. You will not be jumping here and there, mixing things together in a bit to show to the world, in a bit to confuse other, in a bit to impress people, in a breeze, in a, you know, in a, in a, in an attempt to attract people that you don't even know their plan for your life. If at all they have one, this scripture said the round will become a great, a great tribe. That is things that are not all that way important. Mm -hmm. the, the word round means a small pig or other animal, especially the smallest, the smallest, a people of, uh, 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 it's like a people that are no people. You remember Peter talk about that. He said, these are people that are not a people, but now have, have now become the people of God. This is very crucial this morning. And I speak to the youth, learn to appropriate your time. The round shall become a great nation. The weakling, what did he say happened to weakling? He said, the weakling will become a strong nation. That is message translation. He said, I am God. At the right time, I will make it happen. At the right time, I will make it happen. Please wait for your turn. If it is not yet your turn, it will, it, will, it will turn you down. And if it is your turn, who is he that will stop his hand? That's why he said in Ezekiel, I will overturn and overturn and overturn until the turn of the, pe of the people who he is, and I will give it to him. Look at what God is saying here. He said, at the right time, I will make it happen. At the right time. I will make it happen. God bless you and prosper you. Where you are walking, there is a time to take root downward. Where you are walking, there is a time to build your profile. And also, there is a time that you begin to harvest. Please know you cannot jump one stage and arrive to the other successfully. If you don't have a time of sowing and you want to have a time of harvest, you'll be called a thief. And that is how many have branded their life with name that God has not given them. I see at dawn of a new day as we get ourselves set and begin to appropriate our time. Jesus kept on saying, my time has not come. My time has not come. My time has not come. I want you to begin to take time to seek the face of God. Not just the face of God, because it's not only God that is involved in your success. To also check what stage of life I am, I am in now. To also take your time to hear what Ezekiel has to say. I will overturn by the Spirit of God. 
I will overturn and I will overturn until the turn of who it belongs and I will give it to him. So you just should post that scripture for everyone to see because it is very vital. It is very vital. Delay is never a denier. Delay is never a denier. That you don't have it today does not mean you won't have it tomorrow. It is just that, look, it is not yet your turn today. He said, I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. And it shall be no more until it come to whose right it is. And I will give it to him. I will give it to him. We saw what happened in the life of Abraham and Sarah. God, there was a time God spoke into their, to their life. And the Bible say in chapter 21, I think verse 1, the Bible say, and God visited Sarah as he has spoken. What is it that God has told you? You must understand that God operated by time. And do you know what? The timing of God is not your timing. So that's why you have to be divinely equipped to understand how God operates. Genesis 21 and verse 1 and 2, you will see there, it says, And the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. So there was a time Sarah received a word from the Lord. And there was a time God visited Sarah. And there was a time God gave to Sarah what Sarah had been looking for. You see the timing. You see the timing. You see the timing. You see the timing. And Sarah conceived, even though it looked very impossible. In God's timing, in God's timing, he makes all things beautiful. When it is God's time, he makes all things beautiful. There is an end to every ugly situation in your life. You don't have to commit suicide. In his own time. So let us, let us learn to wait on the Lord. Let us learn to fly by his timing. The mystery of ego is that he understands timing. When the storm is out and everybody says, no, this is not the time, ego knew he was wired to take advantage of time of storm to fly. Your life will fly. Your life will go up. Your life will go up in the name of Jesus Christ. Your life will be abundantly blessed. In the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his own time. Post that scripture. In his own time. God in his own time. Make everything beautiful. He said he has made everything beautiful in his time. In his time. In his time. When it is when you are riding on the timing of God. It is effortlessly. It is effortlessly. But when it is not time of God, it's full of struggle. It is full of struggle. I pray that God will give you understanding and then you will appropriate your time. And as you begin to appropriate your time, you will discover certain things you are looking for. Just come to you without any effort. Without any effort. Timing is very crucial. And that makes it one of the understanding of timing is one of the most vital tools in your quest to look uh, to live a successful life. Be blessed of God. As you face the rest of the li your life, I want you to put this into consideration that it can be somebody else's time and it's not your own. And his own does not lock you out. His own does not lock you out. You come in a volume of a book written, written about you. If your life is like a book, you could be in chapter 4 and I'm in chapter 2. So we are not going to hear the same story. Remember, you came here to fulfill a purpose. Your purpose, our purposes differ as our faiths differ. So wherever you are, whatever you are doing, whatever assignment God has given you, I want you to understand the mystery of his timing. Don't get inflated. Don't get don't get depressed on anything. I always tell people, why do you want people to applaud you when they are not the one who have assigned you a duty? This is where we miss it. 
This is where we miss it. Your purpose was designed by God. So God is the only rightful person who can judge you. Don't look for what is appealing. Don't look at what is appealing. Please, look at what line up with your purpose. Look at what line up with your purpose. Very important. I always tell people, be inspired by people, but don't judge your life by what happened in the life of others. You have heard people say, oh, if I'm a president, oh, if I'm this. But when, those, when you hear those presidents have disease, do you still convert to be one? You can't put every face on. You have your own face. And your life is also in faces. I have my face and my life is also in faces. My chapter is different from my neighbor chapter. What my neighbor is to fulfill is different from, my, from mine. So his progress will inspire me that my own time will come along the line of my purpose. When I see mighty church view, I just thank God. I say, God, you have helped these people to this point. You will help mine. But the fact that they have finished their own and have not started does not jeopardize my joy. No, does not jeopardize my joy. Jesus will tell people, go to the feast. It is your time. But as for me, it is not yet my time. May the Lord be with you. I see God giving you stability. Yes. This is a word of wisdom wow. to stabilize your head. You remember Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. It says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your time. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability. Isaiah chapter 33 and I think verse 6. It says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your time. Many people are living on stable life. They are ever tense every now and then. Everything they see in town or the happening around them, disoriented, that is not the will of God for you. Stay stable, stay happy, stay joyful. He that promised to come, we surely come. Don't let anyone blow you like a balloon. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And the strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, is his treasure. Wait for your turn. Amen. Young lady, wait for your turn. Your turn is there. The fact that somebody is enjoying it now, the kind of life you admire, does not make it your turn. I always tell my children, that you see does not mean you should have it. I always tell my children, look, that is available doesn't mean that this available doesn't make it your size. There are many shoes you see in the house, but it's not your size. If you wear it, your, 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 your movement will be constrained. You will look ugly. And that is how many people have wear wrong cap, wrong hat at the wrong time, upon wrong dressing of their life. And that has jeopardized every great plan that God has for them. You will not be a victim in the name of Jesus Christ. You are building a house, just keep on building it. The faithful is see who have begun the work, he will complete the building. Don't mix it. Just keep on building. Because if you build, if you are building and you begin to cheat others, and you begin to bring, look for diabolical power, now when you complete the house, can you protect yourself? Can you defend yourself? Can you make such house a Goshen where no evil happen? Who build with you will determine who live with you? Who is building with you will determine who, 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 who will live with you? Don't build with other people's sweat. Build with your own means. And the Lord will bless you and the Lord will prosper you. I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. The word I've shared this morning, I see it bringing healing yes, to every psychological heart. That demon that is telling you you are behind your way is a liar. It's just God's timing. And in his own time, he makes everything beautiful. Let's flow with his timing in everything that we are involved. You are waiting for children? Wait for his timing. Wait for his timing. He has not forgotten you. He said he took number of your hair. That's why when they fall off, he replaced. Why will he not give you a child in your lifetime? People that will flow your legacy. He gave Isaac to Abraham. You are the seed of Abraham. Get ready for a surprise. I pray for you that you are next online to have supernatural conception that will baffle your world. God is not limited in his power. He's only waiting for his time. And I know 
your timing is unstable and it's going to visit you. Be blessed of God this morning in Jesus' precious name. Everyone that is there that is not born again, you have been going to church or you have been watching different Christian programs or you have never had opportunity or you have had but you keep on debating. I want to let you know the hour has come. You are not just listening to me for nothing. I believe God is orchestrating that today you give your life to Jesus. I want to invite you, if you are in that category, say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for today. I am a sinner. But today, I come unto you. Jesus, forgive me my sin. I acknowledge I'm a sinner, but I come to your, I come to you today to ask for forgiveness. I am truly sorry. Jesus, cleanse me with your blood. For I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that you are the Son of God and that you die and you rose from the grave for my sake. I today subscribe to that perfect work of, at Calvary. Therefore, I know my sins are forgiven. I'm now born again. I'm a child of God. Satan, every communion I had with you, I today renounce them and I embrace Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Be blessed, brother. Be blessed, sister, wherever you are. The address, the banner display right now on your screen is my contact. You can always reach us. And also, the next banner that will come on your screen are various cities where we have our ministry representation. If we are close to you, you live in Kenya, you live in Nigeria, if we are close to you, please endeavor to fellowship with us. We want to know how you are doing and how you are growing in the law but in case we are not close to you please look for a bible believing church and and begin to worship there and let them know what you have done online so that you can be adequately guided and i see a dawn of a new day for you i see a new beginning to the rest of us we've just heard there is time for everything everyone that talk of lack today miss opportunity to sow yesterday Everyone you see that talks about lack, I lack this, I lack that, he missed the season of sowing. Here is another season. You have been on this platform in the last one hour. Here is an opportunity to cast your seed, to sow seed, to partner with God in propagating the gospel and advance his cause on earth. Where you don't labor, don't expect a harvest. As the kingdom comes, if you are involved automatically, your portion will be delivered. For God is no more to forget your labor of love. This hour, I want you to it take love to give. Nobody has enough, but every wise believer take advantage of opportunity like this to partner with God. Wherever you are, casting your seed, the Lord bless you, the Lord prosper you. Let's go, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thank you for the opportunity to hear your word this morning that we are not forgotten because it has not happened. We are only waiting for the appropriate time. Accept our seed this morning. Use it for the advancement of your kingdom and in return, bless your people. Give a time of multiplication, a time of visitation. Make this weekend a unique weekend for everyone under the sound of my voice. Be blessed. Amen. See you and see you on Monday. Be blessed.